Hello internet dwellers and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations inside of Minecraft for funsies and in hopes of one day creating a machinima with them. I am your host Jeff as always and welcome back to the Psycho House Bates Motel build. <sighs> okay, so right off the bat. Uh, as we ended last week's episode, I was discussing the fact that we I needed to do a little work on the house off camera, uh, just because it wasn't quite it wasn't quite looking right. It was a little bit too small, and I actually <laughs> you can see the dirt over there. I actually made a copy of this and put it over there and messed around with it, try to see if we couldn't get a closer representation of what the house would look like while still maintaining the proper scale. Uh, the Minecraft scale with what is actually in real life. And what we came up with is this. Now, it's actually not very different than what we had. Um, basically, let me just go through a couple little tweaks and changes I did to this. Uh, one, this front little part that sticks out is one more block wider. Uh, this way it puts the doorway in the middle instead of having a double wide door as we had before. It's now just a single, uh, a single hole, which actually, uh, just for representation, this should be like this. I did not do this off camera. There we go. So now it gives us like nice little, uh, a nice little single doorway, which is what the house would have. And then this is just the front little foyer uh, area. We'll come into the rest of the house in a minute. Uh, the front porch itself does in fact wrap around a little bit to the side. It's not really usable, but it is. it does wrap around. Now because it wraps around, that also uh, decided how far out this wall needed to go. Because in the floor plans and any screenshots from at least the original movie, this, uh, this porch kind of comes up to the side of the house here and goes all the way up and then there's a little bit of a space and then there's a window. This is the front window. Uh, this is in line with the one that's up on the second floor that um, Norman's mother is always seen standing in the window, the shadow of her standing in the window. So I needed to make sure that was over far enough uh, where it also still looked good. That was the other key deciding factor as to how big this is going to be because we are kind of limited as to what we can build in Minecraft as per usual and the fact that we're building this at an angle. We are really limited with what we can build so I wanted to make sure it looked good. It may not be 100% factual but at least it should look good once we build this up. Now I did over there kind of what I did at the end of last week episode I did extend these walls up to just kind of see what it's going to look like when we build it and for the most part this looks good we still might need to do some little minor tweaks and adjustments but nothing like what we had last time I'm a lot happier with this layout um, than where we were at at the end of last week's episode so uh, by doing uh, from the corner here by doing two and then a space for the window and then two so then that way the window wasn't directly on the corner which again uh, much like we've discussed I think on that and then I don't think we talked about it that much on the uh, Back to the Future build, but um, especially in here, I don't like ever putting windows. I don't like putting windows there. Like, it might look correct from the outside, but on inside, you're basically going to have a window in the corner of the room, and that just looks stupid. So um, I extended that out on that side. And then also for this side, just because now uh, from above these rooms are more or less, uh, they're a little oblong. They are technically square on the real uh, build, and I am still slightly tempted to push this row back one. I, I think this will be good enough. I, I, I don't want to spend a ton of time working on this one particular <laughs> concept of whether or not this wall needs to be one brick back or not. But uh, what we do is by extending this one, I extend this one back, I believe, just one brick as well. Everything got extended just by one brick, and that fixed everything. Sorry, not brick. Block. <sighs> one block. I'll totally go back and dub all that over and fix it. He lied. So by extending that one back, now we have a uh, we have our window that's on the side of the house here, right in the middle, more or less where it's at on the actual build. We have, uh, and then I extended this one back by one block so we could have our window. Now this one in the actual build, the window is off-centered on purpose. I I, I don't want to do that just because, again, it would end up being in the corner, and I don't want to put that in the corner. So it's just going to be in the middle. Uh, this is the back porch area, which we never actually seen, at least not in the first movie. 
I have a feeling they went to that in one of the other ones, but uh, it's it, there is a little bit of a back porch area here. It kind of matches similar to that. We're not going to be too concerned about how detailed and how well this looks just because it's in the back of the house, but I, it is there. And then uh, the rest of it just kind of is an exact mirror of that side. The house is really kind of an interesting design once I started breaking it down. Really what it is is it's a rectangle. Um, I'm trying to point and talk about this <laughs> with the uh, the pointer, and that's not quite working. So basically what it is, it's a rectangle for the main base of the house going from left to right, a long rectangle. And then it has a smaller sized um, little rectangle coming in the front that is your entire hallway. So that intersects this whole area right here, going all the way in through to the rooms in the house. You have your giant rectangle here. You have inside that rectangle, you have two small squares. And then you intersect that with a smaller rectangle that goes towards the middle. So it's actually, it's a very symmetrical, it is a very, very symmetrical house. Which, I guess technically a lot of old houses were. Not all. Don't don't yell at me, because I know not all of them are, but just saying. Um, but by doing these, just this little tweak, it actually allowed us to fill in these rooms a little bit more, give a little bit more breathing space. I feel a lot more uh, comfortable about this room at the size that it is. Yeah, it is very small, especially considering, you know, in a lot of Minecraft builds, things are gigantic, but it is also supposed to be an older house. So that is a perfect size. Uh, what this also does is, so in the actual floor plan, so you come into this foyer, so we come into the front door, you come in this foyer, there is a turn both, that one will be gone too. Uh, these were just temporary wall marks so I could see where we're at. There is a, uh, actually, no, there's not here. It's back here. It is, it's gonna be there. Um, you walk in the house, there's a door off to the right here. This is the dining room. Uh, there is a door there that leads off into the back of the kitchen. Uh, this is the stairs. So the stairs are gonna be basically right there, uh, right when you walk in the door, right at the base of that. So those will go up there. We have a nice little narrow hallway that leads all the way back into the kitchen area where there's a table and such. Uh, and then this is just like a little pantry area that goes back and then out to the back door. Uh, the door to the basement's stairs are going to be probably here, so this will take us down into the cellar, and we'll figure out how we're going to do that at a later date, but it's going to be about there, and then these are the stairs up. So this is what we have. That is our basic concept. Uh, if you are attempting to follow along with this, by all means do, uh, but here's the block numbers. So the front part is five blocks, and then you go back four and then you go over six. So these are six blocks. And then this is seven blocks back. And then back over four. And then up five. And then this is what, eight? Oh my goodness. I wasn't prepared for this. I, no, sorry, this is nine. And then back down four again. And then, or sorry, down five, over four, down seven, back over six. So it's, like I said, whatever you do on this side, just mirror it exactly over that. You could draw a line down the center of the house right here. And it would be the exact same on both sides. Okay. Whew, that was a lot to get over, but I like how this is feeling. This is going to be, it's, it's going to look right now. I, I, I do feel a lot more comfortable with it blending in with our house over here. So in today's episode, basically, we are going to finish building at least the first floor and hopefully even in the second floor. And even if that ends up becoming um, mostly time lapse or whatever, because it is going to be kind of boring just kind of <laughs> watching that be built. But uh, we'll try to get as much done here in this episode as humanly possible on the house. And then maybe next episode we will focus on the interior and then the build will be done. Okay, so what we're going to do for the house. We need, I want some nice, some nice, some nice white wood. Um, that's going to be our siding. And actually for the most part, that's all we're going to be really using. And then we'll need some glass, which I want to use... I like my white stained glass for that. So you can't really see in the house. That's what I want. And then I'm also gonna need, oh, I need, um, what do we have here? So we're using spruce wood. We're gonna use this. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these because I'm going to keep this the, uh, the stone on the ground floor here. Uh, just as a basically it's the foundation of the house and so it's a little that that detail is a little more realistic we're not going to build the wood just straight onto the ground because that would be a little goofy looking but okay here we go so this is our outside of our house yes i do realize i got about halfway through tearing all those bricks off and i did just realize i could have 
use my other tool here to just paint that on, but, you know, I didn't think about it until halfway through, and I'm already talking about all this stuff, and I wasn't going to interrupt myself. Uh, there we go, and then we're just going to fill this in, and I'm going to, just to save us some time, I think I will use the magic wand tool to duplicate this so we don't have to build these all one at a time, one row at a time, because that'll be boring. So there's that. Okay, so there's our first layer of the house. And, yep, I am going to use... That's, oh, that's, you know what, let's actually just, let's do this. Let's figure out how tall up these windows need to be. So... Okay, so if you're in the house, the average... So average Minecraft guy is six feet. So that's going to be nine feet so if we do that make it a nice big because it is a very tall structure and there is two floors but we also have to compensate the fact that we're going to need a ceiling and a floor in this uh build in order for us to be inside so if we go up that high also when we walk into the house yeah we are going to be up on a level so i could do this doop 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 do whoa oh <laughs> Is that a thing? No, that's not a thing. What was I doing? I was hitting a button there. That was weird. Uh, so we're just going to put this in. So this is the ground floor. Our base that we're going to work on. No fancy, you know, no drop downs, nothing like that. That This is just going to be a standard walk in the door and you're on the same level. No half slabs or anything weird. So by doing that, we need this to go up by one. So we have our nice little window out. And so we would do the same... It's in the middle here. I'm getting confused because I'm on the inside of the house. So we go up like this, up like that. And then it's that one that we leave open. Yes, it's that one we leave open. So that's our, our window. Now, those windows tend to go up to where the actual divider floor is. So it's going to be that. I also just realized I got this out. This is not going to do squat for us. Yeah, so we're going to have to go with actual glass blocks for this one instead of the panes which not a problem we can do so it's gonna be that okay so if we just do two for that and then fill that top part in and then we have a break so we do it like that so we go up that high and then this is our next floor so then the next floor window would be directly above that one so the house might be a touch bit taller. I don't know, but you know what? That's going to be right, because it is a very tall house. That'll work perfectly. Excellent. Look at that. Some would say I might kind of can pretend to know what I'm doing. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're just going to fill that in. It's what's really just, it's, it's, what's tough is I'm not used to building a structure like this on an angle. This is one of the first ones I've done that's been in this. Oops, I need that one to be like that. Uh, that's that's done this way. So thanks for kind of <laughs> uh, thanks for kind of holding our dealing with it because I'm 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 basically trying to figure this out as we go too. So, so I'm just gonna do this one side and I'll build the other side off camera because we don't need to see that. Uh, this goes all the way up. Yeah, this is uh, this this front part has some windows in it which we'll put in in a second here. But I'm more concerned about just getting this basic structure here. So we do that and then we go up like that. So we just needed to go up one more, like so, like that. Let's come all the way out here. Let's see if how this is looking from the distance. And there is going to be there is a roof that's on this as well, so it doesn't look as tall as it's going to be. But yeah, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Okay. And then, yes, on the side here, we're just going to do the exact same thing as I done, had done over there. We'll just do the two and then that. And maybe what we'll actually do, because we left a gap there between those two, we will build this just one more brick high. It's it's just to make it look tall. I mean, the house is a very tall, almost a weirdly tall, thin um, 
not gangly, that's not the right term, but you know, just kind of because uh, oddly, oddly tall and thin structure, and it kind of reflects Norman's stature, the fact that he is very tall and thin. Um, I am currently looking far too deeply into <laughs> the design stance of this movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then what this is going to be down here, I'm also do this on camera. Um, the front porch has. Let's see, we can't connect those, which kind of stinks. But so we'll just we'll basically just going to put those in um, to fake it. And then this is going to be the corner banister. And now these go up past. So I know this looks a little goofy in the corner, but to there. And then would come out. Ah. And then net, 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 and then 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 like that as the railing um, and then this will come over to here and then we're gonna leave an extra wide opening for the uh, the front porch out you know what? maybe we do just do that I don't know I just don't know how I like that but at the same time I don't like it just I actually don't like it just floating because I think that looks stupid um, slab maybe we just throw a spruce wood slab on this so since it's not flush, this would be, again, this is one of those uh, occasions where if we were building it, you know, flush, I would have done this for the railings and uh, and the support posts. So then that would have been our, our railing, but because they don't connect at an angle, we can't do that. Oh no, I ruined it. And then, so this is, See, that's not gonna connect. Ugh, this thing just looks stupid. All right. Do, 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 do. How can I fix this? Hmm. That might just end up being as good as we can do for this, technically. Um, I do know here at least the top is going to be these because we are gonna build a. It does have a very slight, uh, like roof on this that connects up to the house. So if we go all the way across like this, and like that, and then just go one more like that, that's gonna be kind of the, uh, the general gist of the roof line for the front of the house. What did I do? I just did this going across like this, and we'll go up one more for that. Like that. Yeah, so like that's kind of the, that's kind of the front porch. It is a little goofy, but we are building it on the, an angle like this, so we're kind of limited as to what we could do. If I can figure out a better alternative for this, I will, and I'll replace it by the next episode. I don't know, maybe we just... See, it's not glass. It does have banisters, but we don't have anything that will connect properly. And I don't want to use wood. I don't want to use a block of wood, because that'll look goofy. Um, let's just double check real quick. Do we have anything else here that could potentially work? I was originally thinking, like, oh, we could use, like, a gate, but... I All right, what do we can we okay can we make a gate work no because that's just gonna do that that's still gonna be at an angle uh, this would have been so much easier if I built it at the <laughs> straight on but then it wouldn't have been right and my OCD would have freaked out okay so I'll figure out something some other option for this and once I figure that out, we'll do that in a few, I'll do that off screen. But either way, so what I'm going to do uh, off camera is I'm going to finish off the rest of this house. All we're going to do is just keep this uh, consistency. So from the ground, we have four blocks high. And then we have our floor for the next, uh, for the next floor. And then we'd repeat a four blocks high. And then we have an extra, just one up top here, which is the equivalent of this one. So that's our ceiling that we will then lay out in the entire one. I don't mind this hardwood floor being the top floor. I do know in a lot of builds, we would have done two bricks 
in this middle section or two blocks in this middle section to compensate for a flooring and for the the of the, of the second floor and then the ceiling of the first floor but i kind of like this it kind of gives it a wooden-esque vibe we're also not going to uh because we'd have to make this so much bigger i'm also not going to line this these inner walls well Maybe not. Well, I'll wait and see that. Anyways, let me go build this off camera. Uh, or actually, you know what? No, we'll just do it in a time lapse. And uh, when we get done, I'll be back. And we'll move on to the roof. And go. All right, everybody, and we are back. Uh, as you noticed in that time lapse, I did kind of go in and just do the floor real quick on the second floor. And yes, I do realize that this is where the staircase will come through. We'll deal with all the cutting this out at a later date, uh, just, or once we do the inside of the house. I'm not really concerned about that right now. I just kind of wanted to have a basic structure in place for the house. And from a distance, real quick, let's take a gander at this. It's not looking that bad. It does look a little short, and it also does look a little fat um, compared to what we probably could do. But considering we are planning on building the rooms inside, like I said, I wanted to make sure we had enough space to properly build the rooms inside the house. So that is why it looks a little off, a little goofy. Um, I realize we're just going to do that on the front. For the time being. Okay, so what we're going to do with the rest of this episode, we're going to build the roof real quick, and then we are going to uh, we're going to wrap things up. Now, the roof itself. Now, the roof, we're not going to be able to use the slabs like before, because this is intended on being a very steep and very just, it's pitched, goes straight up uh, uh, roof. So, let's, um, hmm, what can we do here? I wonder if we could do the stairs. Can we do... What do we have for an underside? So the roof has a little bit of... Um, maybe we just use the normal stone stairs for those. So, okay. The roof itself. Which... How are we going to do this? On an angled... We might actually just have to use the normal bricks. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Well, that just kind of shot that idea. Uh, <laughs> uh, none of this is practiced. Um, we might just have to actually, because of it, because of the structure of the house, we might just have to actually use blocks and then go straight up. Kind of do it the old fashioned way. Before stairs were part of Minecraft. And you had to use the uh, the bricks. So I am going to build, let's just build, uh, we're gonna, again, this is gonna be one of those, I'll build just one side of it and then we'll see how it looks. And then if it looks okay, then I will uh, I will do the rest in a time lapse. So yes, I know that looks a little goofy right now. Probably go one more peek up. Um, my thought was that I will put the the way that this the way that the roof is designed, so that will come all the way over. We're basically going to the the, the roof itself kind of uh, it connects differently. Um, let, me, let me do this. So the way that it's designed is the this portion of the house, this rectangle right here, has its own roof that comes out and it stops. Then this front peak has its own roof, and then this back part has its own roof that connects this way. So this is our main roof, is not not this, is, is this uh, rectangle right here. So if we build that and then everything else kind of just sits on top of that, we should be good. Uh, that'll kind of get us the look that we want. So is that better? Yeah, that's gonna have to do. Um, my original intention, the way that this is designed, which we might still be able to, to do this. Oh, you're not gonna connect, are you? No, nope, there you go, good, 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 good. So if I do that and I connect you, connect you, and then you, eh, just, eh, and eh, there we go. Perhaps, maybe. Uh, so, sorry, I, I started talking and then just stopped. I got sidetracked in my own design. Um, the way that this is built is it has a little bit of a lip. There's a little bit of lip at the top here. Again, just so that way we're not butting up two different textures right on top of each other. Uh, and this is in the original floor plans of the house. So this is nothing that I'm, I'm not just coming up with this. This is actually uh, based upon the house itself. This just kind of lip goes all the way around the outer perimeter of that, just to kind of give that separation. And what I was going to actually do is I was debating about using a different brick for that. Or I wonder if I just, because that's really far out. I know, I just wasted a lot of time doing that. Um, I contemplated just doing that. Yeah, you know, actually that looks better. And then we might, we'll save these instead of these stairs being all over. So we're just gonna do this. So that's our, our outer, outer layer. There is uh, a few supports. Um, and this is just the architectural style. And I don't know how well these will work because, yep, yeah, because we're putting them on like that. Okay, so those aren't just, those are just not gonna be present. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna just do this little extra slab piece going around it just to kind of help divide out the main house from the rest of it to give it that little bit of a lip and go up to about that height. That height is actually pretty dang good. Um, all the way around, oops, all the way around the house. So this is where it's going to flatten off at, just like so. Ah. And then this will continue all the way across like that and just kind of keep building this way until we get all the way back down to this side and then that's going to wrap back around like, like we did on this side, just like that. All right, so then that is the main base of the of the center structure of the house. Now we're gonna continue building these off. Now, th now this part is a different. This actually goes up one extra brick or block. Keep doing that. Uh, this one goes up one extra block just to kind of give the main uh, the center focus of the house being this tall pillar. Now this one, on the other hand, I wonder if we can't. So that goes up a full block and then it starts up here. So we will, hmm, that's gonna be weird. Yeah, that's gonna be weird to figure that out later. So now let's see if this looks right. Hmm. 
So if it starts up there by giving us just that extra little peak, yeah, that should be good. And then we do the exact same thing again. Now what I'm gonna do, actually, that's a lie. I'm not gonna do the exact same thing. We are going to make this part be ever so slightly taller. I kind of want it, it actually is. Oh, uh, actually, hold on. Let's see here. So it has to be taller than that peak. There's two, okay, sorry, there's two different ways that I can go about doing this. Uh, it's it's all my brains just trying to think to see which way would work better. Um, we could extend it up by an extra one like that to actually give it the height. Because I'm worried that if we just build this like we built the other roof, it's not going to give us the height that we want for the build. And I want it to be taller. Where are we at? So I need to go here. Because that's even. Yeah, and we're going to hit... And this has got to be a lot taller than that. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all this. Sorry, guys, if you were following along. If you are, just just wait. Um, I'm going to get rid of that row. And we are we are going to build this up by one all the way around, like so. Um, there's a... I do know I've seen some tutorials and some videos online. Uh, some design... Aesthetics use this, especially like Nordic or like, um, oh, what do you want to call it? Like Viking-esque style. The housing is very steep roofs. Whenever you see like a very steep roof, especially being built in Minecraft, generally you'll use the same block twice in a very similar fashion. You might actually use it three times for that initial one. I just want to make it be taller. I want it to be more dramatic. So what we'll do is I think for each one of these, we will do, I'll do two for this. And then this next row, we'll just do one. So this will get it up nice and high. And then we just go up by one all the way around. And I'm not too concerned about this portion of the roof uh, being open for an attic or anything goofy like that. It's not gonna have that. So if we do that, is that enough? That might be enough. Looking at it from the front. Yeah, that actually looks, that's not bad. Um, yeah, and this is just going to come all the way back here. Ah, come on. Like that. We're just going to do that. Do that. And then, yep, right there. Perfect. So then there's that. And what I might do for the top part... Uh, see, I just... The thing I don't like is I don't... It's just so much of the same exact texture. And I'm... It's starting to bother me a little bit. I don't like how it's all this same one. So I might end up going back through. Again, I'll... I'll, I'll might do that off camera. Um, and swapping out. Because maybe... Maybe instead of, uh... I don't know if we're going to use anything, we're going to use that, aren't we? Um... Oh, that's really bright, though. Ugh. I don't like that. Ah! Just typing keys at this point. Um, well, that's what else, how else you type, Jeff. Um, we just do... I'm trying to think of just trying to get like some sort of accent up here so that way it has a subtlety, a subtle difference so you can kind of see where the peak of the roof actually is. I'm worried that from a distance this is just going to all start blending together and it's going to look goofy. No! I needed all those! I also became Ray Romano for a second. Sorry, guys. It's just, we'll do this for now, and then if I don't like it, I will change it off camera. <laughs> uh, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, you know, you can't even tell. <laughs> can't even tell. But we know it's there, right, guys? We know it's there. Also, um, having now built all of this, yeah, I don't like how white that is. Um, we'll, I'll probably go back through, see which one was this one, right? So if I just do, let me throw this down. Cause I might just to kind of darken it a little bit. Cause it, it's almost, it is supposed to be a, like a really light, almost like a whitish color, but that almost just looks too white for my taste. It doesn't, it stands out too much. It looks too clean. So I might go back through and, and swap it out with uh, with this and again, this is something I will do off camera. I'm not gonna do all this on camera again um, Yeah, just one of those things that like didn't notice it until I'd actually seen it in uh, 
in use and then realized, yeah, I just don't like how that's really, really bright white. So, okay. So then that is the peak of the house, which yes, does have, which now that we have this here, actually, I'm going to put this up one and I put you up to, cause there is a uh, three windows there in the middle. Um, but now that we've extended this up one, I can actually make this a little bit bigger. So a little more prominent. There is also a window here in the build, which I realize you can't see much into that. So we're just going to leave it like so. Um, hmm. This could almost all go up one more. I think we are going to just do two all the way up because... Just not tall. Ah, what is this? Okay, all right. We'll just we'll do it by hand then. Um, that's almost just not tall enough. I I really want this to be. I wanted to stand out. It's supposed to be the peak of the house. It is supposed to be taller than the rest of the building, and I really just I really want that effect. I want it to be noticed. And right now, with it just kind of tapering off like that, it's not as noticed. Yeah, that's better. At least it stands out. Now it looks really goofy because I got part of the house finished in that color and part of it finished in this color. Um, all right, and then the final part is just this back portion. Uh, this back portion is not hard, but at the same time, it's not the craziest simple thing. We're just going to take what we've done on this on the existing uh, center rectangle of the house and just continue it all the way in the back so it's flush with the back of the house. There's not... Uh, Nothing fancy with this one, just the standard uh, bricks going all the way up until we get up. Um, yeah, I think it's actually supposed to be even with this. So we'll go all the way up to basically there and then fill this all the way in like this. So actually I made a decision while I was working there. I don't want it to go all the way up. Um, I actually want it to stop one road down from the main structure of the house just so we can get some different levels here so it's not just a weird tetrisy piece in the back or for the roof of the house i do want these to be all separate almost like their own layers and then this will just come out like so instead just like that there we go so now we have three different layers we have three different tiers uh the back part of the house this main center structure uh which looking at it now is really narrow actually uh and then the front little peak of the house so with that and then just some little extra work of changing out the house uh house's texture we have our house built um and we could i mean really i could stop the series right there i'm not going to we still need i want to do some landscaping and then obviously we're going to build the inside of the house and we'll finish building i suppose i could do this real quick uh we'll just go up how many do we go up of the porch Four. Is it four? Yeah, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, and then that. Okay. Oops, wish we will need that. Um, no, so, uh, so okay, I'm feeling pretty good about the way this has been building out. If I can figure out a better way to do these little cross, uh, the, uh, the center support beams of these posts, I will do that, and I will change those out on, uh, off camera, and we will talk about them in the next episode. But in the meantime, that is all for this week's episode of Bit by Block with the Psycho Build. I feel like we have at most maybe one more episode. Because next week's episode, we can do all the interior of the house. And then after that, or basically then after that, uh, oh, maybe we have two more. Because maybe what we'll do is we'll do the interior of the house and then we will spend one just doing any fi uh, finishing final touches of the build. Um, oh my goodness, I am not able to hit... Oh, I need one there anyways. I don't know what I'm complaining about. Let's see, I oh, I need to go to bed. Okay, everybody. Well, with that, did I change the... Oh, no, it's just in the shadow. <laughs> I thought I somehow changed the texture. All right, everybody. With that, we are done with this week's episode, and I will see you guys all next time for more Bit by Block. Look, I'm not even facing the camera. There we go. Uh, where am I at? Where, oh, okay. Hope oh, so many different directions. All right, everybody. With that, I'll see you guys next time. Leave any comments or questions you have below in the comment section. 
Bye-bye.